So we are in Sunman, Indiana for this week's investigation. And we're at a private residence. The lady's name is Deanna. And she is a friend of Stephanie's. And this is her property, her house. And supposedly there was an incident that happened right along this driveway. So they have lived here for a few years and they feel like whatever this incident, I believe it was a death <clears throat> along this driveway. And she has had a kind of just an uneasy feeling in the house. I think pretty much ever since they moved in. Just random, like, go in the kitchen and I just felt flooded with, like, I don't know, this negative energy. I don't necessarily feel anything that scares me. Um, I feel like a kind of an, an energy pull, um, maybe like a kind of a void, like something kind of draws at your emotions or just gives you a, a strange feeling here at times. Mm -hmm. Ladies, welcome back to our channel, Get Spooky Society. We are, for the first time, in Sunman, Indiana. Yeah. Never been here before. No. Uh, well, I've been in Sunman, but not here. I've never been in Sunman. Really? No. Interesting. And we're at my massage therapist's house. And she's amazing. So if anybody's local and needs a massage, I highly recommend her. We can get her information for you. And um, we're investigating a specific issue, if you will, possible issue, if you will, at her house, just to see if we can uncover what might be going on here. And we're hoping to get some information and uh, kind of help the family out a little bit. Right. So it's time to. Get spooky! Heavenly Father, please wrap us in your white light. Shelter us from all evil. Shelter us from anything entering into our circle. We do not invite our circle. We do not invite our circle. We do not invite any evil into this house, into our circle. We do not invite any evil or any entity, good or bad, to attach itself to us anybody in this room, in this house, to attach itself to our equipment or follow us home. We come with all due respect and in peace, and we just want to figure out what's going on in the energy in this house. We want to get to the bottom of what may or may not be going on so that everybody can learn to coexist. Amen. Spirits, my name is Stephanie. I'm a highly sensitive empath. I can already feel you taking in my oxygen. I have a horrible headache. I want to cry. Um, I just want to know what's going on. How can we help you? We have many different ways you can talk to us. Please feel free. Tina. Spirits, my name is Tina. I'm a psychic medium, so I can hear, see, feel. Sometimes if you have a perfume or a cigarette or something, I can smell that. I know you're here. We already talked in the other room, so don't be afraid. You can touch any of our equipment. We have guests here with us this evening. Please do not touch them. Communicate through Stephanie, myself, and Dale, please. And we'll help you if, if we're able. Dale. Hello, spirits. My name is Dale. Don't be afraid of me either. I'm just a guy with a camera. Feel free to use any energy from any of the equipment. Don't be afraid of it. Don't attach yourself to me or to the equipment. And Stephanie, at the beginning of the prayer, I'm pretty sure I got an orb coming out of your right shoulder. Going this, if I forget to tell you later, okay. it went. Excellent. 
this way. Awesome. That would be exciting since that's not the camera that usually gets worse. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome. She's very afraid, and what she's saying is when I talk, I get hit by him. You can't have had complete chills right now. So she's afraid to talk. Okay, well, you don't. You don't have to be afraid here with us anymore. Now we're here to help you. I know nobody helped you then, but we're here to help you now. And just for the viewers, Tina doesn't know anything about anything. So <laughs> Tina doesn't know anything about anything. <laughs> this is pretty, and I'm crying. <laughs> don't cry. I'm crying. It's on. Thank you. Don't be afraid of us. Don't run away. Thank you. The other flashlight's now on. Thank you. You just wanted me to come in here. Why don't you just say that? <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well, I'm going to get cozy. Yeah. Chair. Okay. There she is. Okay. And the rods are right here if you want them ever. Family. Family. Um I never had luck with the rods. Okay. <clears throat> Who's in here with me? Can you turn on the flashlight if you are a female? That's me. Can you turn on the flashlight if you are a male? Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Can you turn that back off now? Silly. Silly. I know it's silly, but can you just turn it off, please? Me. me. Silly me. Silly me? Yep, you're playing with the flashlight. It is kind of silly. Okay, so you're a man. Or male, I should say. Are you a man? Grown man? Can you turn that flashlight on? If you're a grown man? Yes? Okay, perfect. You're a grown man. Can you turn it back off? New Mexico. New Mexico. Thank you. Did you live in this house? Can you turn the flashlight on if you lived in this house? Can you turn on that flashlight if you lived on this property, on this land? Thank you. Okay. 
not in this house, but on this land. Can you turn that back off, please? All the way off. Thank you. What about family? <clears throat> Is there a, did you have a, a family here? Oh. That was pretty quick. That was very quick. Okay. Can you turn it off, please? Do you have family that is still living and not passed on yet? And we're using flashlight on for a yes. Correct. Are you waiting for family to join you? Yes. Okay. Can you turn it off, please? Are you waiting for children to follow you? Do you have children here still? Yeah. Light. Can you turn it off, please? It's me walking. Me walking. You know you could go to the light and they will follow when it's their time. You know that, right? It's safe to do that. Sounds bright. Okay. Turn it off, please. Another question coming. Do you want me to help you to go to the light? You don't have to be afraid of it, but if you want help, I can help you. Okay. I'm going to do that, but I have a few more questions. Let's turn that off. Think. You're thinking about it? Turn it off. Are you the one that is making things happen in this house? I didn't think so. Mm -hmm. It's a different one. But you, but you want to be, you wanted to go to the light, so let's do that. Concentrate. I am. <laughs> she is concentrating. I am. You're really strong. I have a question. Okay. Since you were part of this land, do you like this room because you feel you can 
oversee the land through the windows? Can you turn that flashlight on if that's the case? Thank you. I, I told you I felt that when I walked in this room that whoever was in here could see the land. Yeah, and I, for some strange reason, took a ton of pictures of that window. Did you? I did. Thank you. Can you? Thank you. So we're going to go out that window. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Let me... And that sign says come together. You're going to come together with your people on the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the back of my head is just, thank you. The back of my head is just. My question was. Vibrating. Hmm. Turn that off, please. I'm going to say it out loud. Do you think we can get the other spirits in this Paula. house to go with you to the light? Paula. Friendship. Friendship, Paula. You think we can? Okay, we can try. Are you calling in the rest of the spirits? Can you turn that flashlight on? Are we locked in the I think because there's unfinished business. Uh -huh. That's okay. They don't have to go with you right now. They have the unfinished business. It's safe for you to go. With a little ball of light. Day. Day. It does look like day. It's very bright. Just go on through it. And then you can rest. Travel. Yes, you travel have to travel. It. That's the second time. Yep, travel through it. You can do it. Light, yes, the light. Go through the light.
stay. So there's somebody that's staying. You can stay. Can you turn that flash? Thank you. Can you turn this other flashlight on again that's next to me? C. C? Yeah, I do see you. We see. Tire. Wheel tire van. Tombstone. Tombstone. Is there an old cemetery out there? Is there an old cemetery around? We don't know. What? Are you close? that flashlight on if we're speaking to a female now is there a car coming mm -hmm. okay. thank you can you turn that flashlight back off please thank you Can you turn that flash steps. steps? Yes. Can you turn that flashlight on if this was your office? No, no, no. no. Dangerous. Dangerous. Steps dangerous. Definitely. Definitely. What? Turn that off, please. It steps are definitely dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it said. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Is this the Teresa. 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 Is this the baby's room? Are we stand are we in the baby's room right now? Okay. Turn it off, please. Taxi. Taxi. You'll be hard pressed to get a taxi here. Did the baby fall down the stairs? Are you upset because you told the baby to stay away from the stairs and he fell down anyway? Is that why you're stuck here? Almost. Can you turn that flashlight back off? Please? Were you punished because the baby fell down the stairs?
Are you the baby's ring? Are you the baby's mother? That was fast. That was a hard yes. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I just wanted the verification. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Are you making things move here? Okay. This isn't your house anymore. There's other people that live here. I know you know. Can you please turn that flashlight off? You got any ideas of what we can do to help? My head doesn't hurt anymore. She doesn't want help. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But you can't stay angry. Can you turn that all the way off? Jewelry. And jewelry. So we have ring and jewelry. Turn that flashlight all the way off. Last. Last. Can I say it out loud first? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you turn it off. Did the accident happen in this house? This exact house? Did the accident, when the baby fell down the stairs, did it happen in the house that was on this property, on this land? Well, she doesn't want help. No. So that's fine. We help the other guy. She doesn't want help. But she doesn't live here. She didn't live on the property. Mm -hmm. She's come in on something else. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that mm -hmm. we've... I don't think we've hit the issue. No, we haven't hit the issue at all. I don't think the issue wants to be hit. Yeah. Come and coming. I feel like we had the issue in the kitchen, but she just wasn't going to talk. Metal. Metal. Metal like M mm, E T A L. Not uh, yeah, not yeah. metal. Got it. Are you picking up more fear <clears throat> or anger from this lady? Anger. From the one we're talking to, anger. From the one that's not talking, mm -hmm. fear. Mm -hmm. Fear. Yeah. Charge. Charge. Yeah, there's at least two different ones. Children's. Children's. My right leg is on fire and that hasn't happened in a really long time. Mm. 
Was there a fire involved? Harold. Harold. Who's Harold? Should have left the flashlight. Suggest. 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 Envy. Envy. Interesting. Okay, so before when we started. Tina was not involved in any of our discussion for the interview. Right. Deanna did not tell names. She just told the basic date and the basics. Okay. So how do you want to, do you want her to tell or do you want to read your notes? Pasta. Pasta. Uh, okay. Do you want to read your notes and then she can confirm, or do you want her to tell the story, or? What well, makes sense? So when I walked around the home, um, the office room is where I, you know, the first room that I got some really mm -hmm. heavy, heavy um, energy. I did get two names in there. Um, one being Jennifer, the other one being Jessica. But then I later was introduced to Jess, who I assume is Jessica, mm -hmm. um, and I had written next to Jessica that she cry she's crying. Like something about that room makes you cry, makes you sad. And when I walked into that room, I immediately started crying when yeah. I did my walk around. Yeah, it, it, it's the energy in there is insanely crazy. And what I felt was, and I kind of said this on camera when we were in there, that I felt like whoever, whatever energy was in there, was in there because they liked the windows looked out across the land, like they were up and they could right. look out across and watch over things. Right. And I, I was drawn to take a lot of pictures of that particular window. I didn't take any other. I think maybe the front window I took some pictures, but that off front or side or office window I took a lot of pictures out that window. And then when we were just in there working, that's where the, the male spirit um, wanted to go. So he went out that window. Right. Guitar. 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 Oh, maybe he's playing the guitar now. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as, then I, as I was wandering, um, then this way into the kitchen. See, and that, I don't know. There's an old man that's wandering around. Maybe that was a gentleman that we just crossed. Because mm -hmm. he um, was connected to the land. He was protecting the land. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that would make sense. Um, but here in the kitchen, I have, you know, flashes of feel. Feel? Feel. feel. Uh, flashes of um, just very gory, just a very not pleasant scene in here. Lots of blood. Lots of blood in this kitchen. Refer. Refer. Um, yeah, kind of turns my stomach. Wait. Um, wait. It's like wait. Okay. <laughs> so I'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you want to confirm or deny of any of those things I've seen so far? I don't know anything about those things. <laughs> <laughs> but you did say earlier that you got weird vibes from the kitchen. Oh yeah, definitely. Universe. I, universe. I forget what your words were, what you said, but it was... It, it, a lot, it's definitely a lot. We're not in Alabama. In the kitchen. Yeah. I mean, that, I, obviously that's the first thing that popped into my mind. You know, I, I do spend a lot of time in here, um, but it, it kind of hits me in here probably the most. Mm -hmm. And when I hit, came up the stairs and then hit that top of the stairs and then here, I had a very negative feeling, like caught my breath. And for the viewers, we did this separately, so yes. we had the same reaction at separate yes. times. Yes. 
and we didn't talk about it before. We did not. So, so you don't know of anything that happened in, in here? I, I don't. But don't apologize. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, was there another property where this house was? I mean, another building? Yes. Wilderness. There was another building right where this house is I built. Believe, yes. Oh, Capel. Capel. Nobody yes. moved. So there we go. So if there was another home on this same exact property, exact location as this home, mm -hmm. then I I would lean towards it. It was that that property, not this home. And it could be. Um, go ahead and tell her what did what we know happened. I also should like to tell. I know more information too about the house that was. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, it 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 burned down. Oh my gosh! You just said that my fire. was on fire. You did. <gasps> Capital. Capital. Oh, okay. So my telltale, if there's been a fire, is my right leg get is just burning, and I just said it in the other room. I don't know if you had it on. It's on there. I just said when we were in there, all of a sudden my right leg's on fire, and I haven't had that in a while. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. And now my throat's closing, so. Wow. Okay, go ahead. What do you know any details? I don't know a lot of details. You know when? I feel like it was the family that rebuilt this house. Okay. Um, I don't know how the house caught on fire. When they went to rebuild, they lived in the basement for a while. Um, that's why there's kind of like that outdoor. They had the oh, basement, gotcha. and then they built from like there. I I don't know a lot of details. Just that the original house Apple, burnt Apple. down. Okay. You don't know a year. I I don't. Okay. All right. In this century, eighteen hundreds, two thousand floor. Floor, floor. Um, do you, was it, do you feel like it was the same people that lived here before I you? I think it was, but I'm not a hundred percent for sure. So tell her the story of what happened, Cat Hall again. Okay, now we've got her attention. Yeah. Tell her she wants you to tell her the story of what happened. Well, what I know of the story. Um, The husband and wife got into it. I quit. He supposedly left the house. Um, it was cold out. Um, she left. She walked down the driveway. And I guess she passed out. Um, he came home. She wasn't here, but her mother lived in a trailer. Um, um, right kind of in front of our house like as you're driving down um, where it's all grown up and then our sister lives over there mm -hmm. next door one house over you pass coming in probably but um so he, he says he assumed she was there and because they were in an argument mm -hmm. he didn't check on her didn't call you know mm -hmm. and then they found her and off the driveway down the driveway, um, dead the next day. Hmm. What year was that? 2012, you said? Yes, 2012. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but so far none of the names that have come up have matched <laughs> alert. We are alert. Okay. Have, have matched anything. And I did pull up um, her obituary, like just to look at the kid, like because she had several sons, and just to kind of see if any of the names are matching up. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. They did not. No. So you mentioned military. Military. I think it's a. I. I know the oh, yeah, her son military. was in the military. Marble. Marble. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Uh huh. And what kind of feelings do you have 
here? I mean, are you things moving or you're no. hearing things? What what is going on? It's just um, I don't know how to describe it. It's just um, it's just a it's kind of unsettling. Okay. Like I feel like I don't know. At my old home, I felt like I was at home. Like, I'm home, I'm at peace. Mm -hmm. I guess there's like, I don't feel at peace okay. very often okay. here. Um, it's, okay. I don't know how to really put it in words. Um, six, seven years. Mm -hmm. years. And I know I'm highly sensitive to like energy and stuff like that, so. And then just you want to tell her how you feel. Yeah, I I just feel like there's kind of a pull on your on energy here, kind of like there's a void that fills the house in a way, um, just kind of a draw on energy, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like there's something malevolent yeah. or. I honestly feel like right now, now whether you're picking up on it or not, but because that capital's going off. I feel like she is letting us know because we're channel that we're talking about. She wants to be heard. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's her now. Now, whether we talked to her earlier or, or something else, mm -hmm. I do feel like she might be. I don't know if it was the other woman that had the accident with the kid that was reluctant to talk and scared and skittish because when I was holding that dowsing rod, it was going up and down this way, not this way. Like she, the, whoever it was was scared to death. But she's not part of the house, she said. Now we're talking to the one that was part of this house mm -hmm. that wants to be heard. In this piece of furniture, it was here. I asked them to. Oh. I asked them to. I asked if I could have that with the house. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted it to stay. And that's when she's talking is part of the furniture. Mm -hmm. So this isn't the other woman with the kid. This is her. Interesting. Okay, we got you. Okay. She she wants to be heard. Okay. Cat ball. She's calling him a reptile. <laughs> well, it was a snake. Yeah. So, okay. So have you had have you had any experiences? I just kind of the same as what they said. You just kind of feel creeped out here in the yeah, kitchen. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You too. Yeah. Yeah. Cat ball again. Well, that's a shame no. that you guys don't feel comfortable Especially here. Especially now. <laughs> <laughs> She's um, Okay. Yeah, there's definitely has, there's a, there's three things that we've been investigating since we've been here. Mm -hmm. Two that we were, that weren't related to what mm -hmm. right. is now. Right. One, past. We helped. The other one wants no help, and this one, I think, wants she wants help. Yeah. I wish it wasn't snowy outside. I drove out there, and uh... well, we may have to do a mm -hmm. a rerun when it gets warmer out, where we can be out. Information. Information. Yeah, so I can get my yeah yeah yeah. What should we ask her name? Let's see what comes up. She wants to tell her name. I mean, should we ask Diana to tell us what her name is? Oh, that's fine. What is her name? Maya. Maya. Okay. Maya, is there something we can do for you now? Never. Never. Okay, I go. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry.
what we try to do in instances like this is, as you saw, try to figure out a way to help them, whether it's help them cross, um, give them a voice, move, um, <laughs> let them be heard. So, you know, we really, we'll, we'll, we're, we want to sage, but we're not going to try to remove her because she needs help, right? Right. I mean, do you want us to try to remove her from the house, or? I mean, I guess in a good way, you know, I guess I mean, she's ready. She's not ready. Yeah, she's, she's not ready. She, she wants to tell her story, but you can still sage and, you know, just, just to feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sage is not a bad day. I'll be curious to see now um, if the energy changes at all, at all since she knows that people want to help her. If if you feel a difference. Yeah. And then if Dorothy, if not and we come back when it's warmer when we can be outside and try to connect with her there or connect with her in here again if she still doesn't seem to accept our help we can ask her to leave it's up to you yeah that sounds good Ring. That's the second, second time. Second time it said ring. Ring and jewelry. And jewelry and gold. <laughs> hey, lovelies. That wraps up another episode of the Get Spooky Society here in Summon, Indiana, at my massage therapist's house. Again, it's a beautiful home. home. Yes, it's a beautiful home and a beautiful place in Summon, Indiana. And if you're local and need a massage therapist, I got our information. But. If you are new to our channel, we want to welcome you. We love all of our viewers and all of our subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. Everybody, please give us a thumbs up. Give us a comment. Anything you do helps our channel. Mm -hmm. And until next week, stay, stay spooky. spooky.